Hello, my fellow ghouls and ghoulettes, and welcome to Monster Planet, where I talk about a monster's brief history, how it affected our modern world today, and how media portrays the monster. I'm your host, Nicholas Reed, and today's monster will have you feeling drained. monster of the day is not very well known outside of Romania. I'm talking about the Strigoi. The Strigoi are considered to be a very rare bloodline of the Nosferatu line of vampires, and are rarely known outside of Romanian folklore. The Strigoi have existed for countless centuries and haunt the wilderness of Transylvania and Wallachia. Strigoi are described as being hideously deformed, possess a high degree of obfuscation, and share a common geographical origin and mythology just like the Nosferatu, which helps further connect the two clans. The Strigoi do not create ghouls or reproduce in traditional vampire fashion, as the Strigoi can only embrace a select group of mortals, which is who have already been made into Strigoi ghouls and humans who have committed suicide. The Vita of the Strigoi have two distinct faces, the Quick Vita of the Strigoi ghouls and the Undead Vita of the Strigoi vampires. The ghouls are closer to a hybrid of a witch and a vampire than a traditional ghoul. The ghouls are called Strigoi V, or Living Vampire, and the true undead form is called Strigoi Mort, or Dead Vampire. Strigoi are most powerful during the winter, and especially between Sabbaths. Strigoi are also said to have the ability to transform into wind demons that haunt the night sky. On death, a properly embraced Strigoi V a much more powerful Strigoi Mort, or simply Strigoi. Most people don't realize it, but Bram Stoker's Dracula has become a modern interpretation of the Strigoi through their historic links with vampirism, by extension, igniting the world's fascination with vampires and other creatures of the night. Aside from the occasional mention in media, Strigoi has faded into obscurity outside of Romania. Thankfully, folklore never truly fades completely from the public consciousness. The Strigoi appear in precious few forms of media, owing often to the relative obscurity in modern culture, but also due to being reduced to a general vampire. That does not mean there aren't modern depictions of these horrifying monsters. German power metal band Powerwolf have both a song and a board game about the Strigoi called Armata Strigoi. The Strigoi also appear in the Vampire Academy book series written by Rochelle Mead. The books detail the training of main character Rose Hathaway to become a guardian for her Maroi friend, and learning to defeat the evil Strigoi at St. Vladimir's Academy. The series has sold 8 million copies in 35 countries, and has even spawned a movie adaptation of the first novel in 2014, directed by Mark Waters, starring Zoe Dutch, Lucy Fry, and Dominic Sherwood. There's also a 2009 movie called Strigoi, directed by Faye Jackson, about a man who is murdered, who then comes back from the dead to exact his revenge. In the Witcher video game series, there's a vampiric female creature known as the Striga, in Soul Calibur 4, French fencer and vampire Raphael Sorel has a move known as the Strigoi envelopment. In most of these forms of media, the Strigoi maintains most of their usual characteristics from the original myth. A mighty creature to be feared that possess many of the usual abilities that are more common in Nosferatu kin. The websites used for research this week was asterianet.org. That's all the time I have for you ghouls and ghoulettes. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, if you aren't careful, you might fall victim to a strigoi yourself. <laughs>